The developments tonight from the courtroom is a state lawmaker is facing charges related to a hit and run in Campbell County. A judge deciding today that the case against 59th District Delegate Matt Ferris will move forward. ABC 13's Mia Nelson is live from the Campbell County Courthouse with some new information from today's preliminary hearing. One thing we learned today is that Ferris was dating the woman he's accused of hitting with his car back in March. Today, three witnesses took to the stand the state trooper that arrived on scene, a witness to the incident, and Ferris's then-girlfriend, Julie Miles. Miles says this all happened after a tire blew out while they were on their way to dinner. She says Ferris got aggressive and she decided to walk away. She says Ferris drove up alongside her and was screaming at her to get in the car. She says he then turned and hit her with the driver's side of the car, knocking her onto her hands and knees. We've reached out to Ferris since he was first charged to try and speak with him on camera and haven't been able to talk to him. Today, I tried to ask him a few questions as he entered the courtroom. Hi, my name's Mia Nelson. I'm a reporter with ABC 13 News. Could we ask you a few questions about the charges that you're facing? I've got to meet with my attorney. I appreciate it, though. Do you think that you should be running for the district when you're dealing with these charges? You've said that you believe the charges are false. Do you stand by that? This is charged with malicious wounding, failure to stop at an accident, and a misdemeanor of reckless driving. The defense attorney asked the judge to dismiss the felony charges. He said Ferris did not intend to hurt Miles and there was no malice. But in the end, the judge did certify them. The case is now heading to a Campbell County grand jury. They meet next in September. Live in Campbell County, Mia Nelson, ABC 13 News. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.